I want you to imagine with me that it's Monday morning and you make your way into the office and to your left you see your co-worker Bob and Bob's kind of leaning over at his desk. So you're like, hey Bob, hey buddy, how, how was your weekend? Bob, Bob, can, it's interesting, Bob's not responding. So, so you walk over to Bob and you tap him on his shoulder and go, Bob, are you a, wait, wait a minute, Bob's not even moving. Wait, Bob's not even breathing. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, what, 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 what am I supposed to do? Um, I have to remember, I have to remember, oh, oh my, my ABCs, airway, uh, breathing, uh, no, no, air, yeah, air, airway, breathing, and, and compression. I, I, gotta, I, gotta do, I have to do CPR. So you take off your jacket and you quickly take them onto the floor and, and, and then you, you whoo, whoo, compression, compression, and, and you whoo, whoo, and, and compression. And come on, Bob, stay with me. Stay with me, Bob. Come on, Bob. Sweat's pouring down your face like you just came out of a shower and, and, and your arms feel like lead because of all the, the work that you've been doing. But then all of a sudden, whoo, he spits out a piece of gum. Bob's gonna be okay. You see, Bob's gonna be okay because you performed CPR and CPR saved his life. But wait, wait a minute, you, you performed CPR on him when he wasn't breathing. Can you perform CPR on someone when they are breathing? You, you see, when someone's unconscious, you can breathe air into them, which is breathing oxygen into their body because if under six minutes, if that doesn't happen, then the brain begins to deteriorate. You also know that if you're not pumping on and doing compressions, you don't get the heart pumping and the blood begins to flow, which is what's cycling and helping the vital organs like your heart, kidney, and your liver to survive. But when you're breathing life into someone who is alive, that's what's important. You see, C stands for compression. I mean, compassion. You see, we need to have compassion with people who are in our office, in our household, in our lives. Because just like people who aren't breathing and are potentially could be dying, there are people who will walk into your life that are dying every day. They're dying to be acknowledged. They're dying to be admired. They're dying to be accepted. They are dying. And you know these people because they're the ones who come into the office, sit in their chair, and let out that big sigh. And see, we're not talking about the sigh because it took them 15 feet to walk from the elevator to their desk. That's not why they're out of breath. You see, they're out of breath because of the weight of the world that's on their shoulders. The emotional the physical, the psychological, the spiritual, the mental stress that we have been going through for the past three and a half years. This is what people have been facing and they are dying inside. And you have the ability to breathe life into them. So how do you do this? Speak life. Speak encouraging words, inspiring words, motivational words, words that's going to make them feel that they are alive, that they are important. The, the same way that you compress and you push on someone's chest to get the heart pumping, that could pump up their ego. The ego that has been deflated like a balloon at a birthday party. That's what they need to get through the next day. C is for compassion. That's when you look at someone's pity and misfortune and you wanna help them out. P, well that, that's for purpose. Now, I know what you're saying. You're saying, Clem, why would I want to do it? Well, I have this saying, be a help and not a hindrance. Be a blessing and not a burden to those who are around you. That should be our purpose. Now, granted, you may not get a hero's cookie. You may not get a pat on the back. You may not get a, a ticket parade for helping somebody else. But what you will be doing is breathing life into someone because the purpose that you have found out is you want to be the person who brightens their day. You want to be that person that inspires them and helps them out. Because granted, we live in a world where it's way too easy to gossip about people. It's way too easy to hurt people with our words. Why don't we use our words to put life into somebody? 
P is your purpose. And R? Well, repeat. Yep, that means doing it over and over again. I, I mean, over and over again. I, I mean, over and over again. That, that's what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to be nice to that person. It might take five hours, five days, five weeks, maybe even five years to help that person get from point A to point B because some people respond a little slower than others. Some people need a little more pushing, a little more breathing. Some people need that life pushed into them every single day they walk into your life. And you have that ability to show compassion, to show your purpose, and to repeat it every chance you get. I want to challenge you. I want to challenge you that even tomorrow, when you walk into Starbucks to get your grande peppermint mocha latte with two squirts of cream and of course soya milk because you want to be healthy, but you freak out on the barista because they forgot your two shots of espresso, why don't you just show a little compassion? Just, just, just a little compassion because you don't know what they've been going through. Show them that you have a purpose in their life by bringing a smile to their face and repeat that the next day and to the next barista and to the homeless man on the street and to your annoying coworker who just will not give you back your stapler. Show compassion. Because let's face it, in this world, don't give up doing good. Because you never know, at one time in your life, you might need CPR. <laughs>